Okay, Georgie, so we're gonna turn this into this. Get ready. Hi, Bold Bakers. Wait, he's not Gemma. Now, Gemma's hosted more than 500 episodes of Bigger Boulder Baking, and I thought she needed a break. And I've learned a thing or two after producing so many episodes. So I'm here today to show you an amazing new recipe, and I've got a pretty amazing co-host to help me out. So George is only starting to eat solid foods, and bananas are his favorite. So we're gonna take one of his favorites and combine it with one of my favorites, chocolate, and show you how to make a chocolate chip banana bread that's incredible. But wait, we're gonna show you how to bake it two ways, and one of those methods is in less than 10 minutes. So we're gonna start out in a large bowl. You wanna add in some flour, sugar, a little baking powder, some salt, and cinnamon. So do you like my spoons? Gemma wouldn't let me use hers, so now I have my own BBB ones. Now you just wanna mix all of these together, especially to get the raising agent, the baking powder, mixed up really well with all the other ingredients. Okay, that's looking really good. Now, you may have noticed we already lost our co-host. George needed to take a nap. Now, we wanna move on to our wet ingredients. So move your dry ingredients to the side, and you're gonna want a nice big bowl for this next step. Okay, now for the star of the show, the bananas. Now you're gonna want about three medium-sized bananas. Now, question is, what's a medium-sized banana? The easiest way to tell is to be able to weigh this on a gram scale, um, and, and you can do that if you have one, but otherwise, you know, about this size, um, you know, you can eyeball it and it'll be okay. Now, as always, you can find the full written recipe on biggerbolderbaking.com. And here's the thing, if you haven't been over there, you can watch the video, see all sorts of bonus tips, uh, see the written recipe right there that includes all the ingredient measurements. So make sure you go over there and check it out. Now you just wanna add these to your bowl and mash them up really well. Now you wanna make sure that these bananas are nice and ripe because they're gonna mash up a whole lot better. Now I'm using a fork here and I'm sure there's better techniques. You wanna get them nice and squished up. Okay, that's nice and mashed. Now we're gonna add in our egg, our flavorless oil, and some vanilla extract for flavor. And then just whisk or mix them all together. Now I know what some of you are going to ask. Kevin, can you substitute the egg? Yes, you can use a flax egg, you can use applesauce, you can find all of that in our egg substitutes chart on biggerbolderbaking.com. Now you just wanna bring back in your dry ingredients and we've got one more ingredient we have to add to that dry mix, chocolate. Now here I have the other star of the show, my favorite, the chocolate chips. And you'll wanna use a nice uh, semi-sweet chocolate, um, just something that has a little bit of bite, a little bit of flavor, but feel free to use one of your favorites. And yes, you could have mixed in the chocolate chips to the dry ingredients earlier, but I wanted to give the star a moment of its own. All right, as easy as that, we've got all of our components. So now you just wanna add your wet to your dry. But here's an important point. Gemma tells you this all the time, but you wanna make sure you don't overmix your banana bread because it'll toughen it up and it'll make it not very nice. All right, now your chocolate chip banana bread batter is ready to go into its tin. And I have here a nine by five tin already lined with parchment paper. The parchment paper is really helpful just to get your banana bread out cleanly and easily. Uh, but if you don't have parchment paper, that's just fine. Just make sure that your tin is nice and greased. Now you may have noticed that this pan is silicone and I'm gonna tell you why in a minute. Okay, you just wanna spoon your batter in, make sure everything gets in there evenly into the corners and try not to make a mess like I am. And then just give it a little hit on the counter to make sure that uh, all the bubbles and things work their way out. Okay, so if you're baking this in a traditional oven, the instructions are on biggerbolderbaking.com, but hold on. I'm also going to show you how you can make it in less than 10 minutes in the microwave. And then we're gonna compare the two side by side. All right, now you just wanna put your silicone pan into the microwave and microwave it for four minutes. Now remember our microwave heats at 1200 watts, so make sure to check your wattage and adjust your time accordingly. Okay, our first time is up, so let's check it out. Look at that, it's looking good. It's raised up. You can see it's a little bit wet still, so let's add another three minutes to it and check it again. All right, as you can see, it's almost there, but it's still a little wet, so let's add another minute. All right, there we go, nice and firm. It's looking great. 
So let's add some tin foil at the end to give it a little extra steam that'll make it nice and moist. And now it's time for the comparison. Do not go anywhere. Okay, I get it. The one out of the oven looks nice and golden brown, baked perfectly. But the microwaved one is steamed to perfection. So really, it's all up to the taste. All right, Gemma actually thought she was gonna get a holiday all day, but I have my blind taste tester here. <laughs> and I want you to taste I am not okay with this. the different banana breads. <laughs> Jen, we'll get you a full day off right now. Okay. So, okay, well, this, this, is this, is, this is number one. I'll go. What do you think of that one? Delicious, moist, chocolatey. Excellent, excellent. Okay, banana bread number two. Okay. Nice big bites, as you usually like. Mm -hmm. It seems a little bit um, denser than the first one. Okay. But um, it's banana very chocolatey, delicious. I don't know, the first one seemed a little bit softer. All right, Gemma. The first one was the one we made in the microwave in less than 10 minutes. Oh, uh -huh, no way. Pretty amazing, huh? That's crazy. Yeah. That was a really good idea. Yeah, there you go. Well, you can do it two different ways if you want to do it traditionally or in the microwave. Special shout out to Brian Barnes on the Bigger Boulder Baking Team for coming up with the microwave idea. And uh, I wanna see your banana breads. Make sure to make them and share them with us. And thanks everybody for joining us. That's great, Kevin. Good job. Thanks. You can enjoy the rest of the day off, Jim. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs>